Let's continue with our schedule and our slate. You saw Kyle's hat. You've seen it the whole show. North Carolina and Virginia up in the ACC tournament tonight in Greensboro. North Carolina off the easy win over Boston College. These same two teams played uh, about two weeks ago, and North Carolina won at home. Now it's the neutral floor. Virginia favored by two. Total 129. All right, let's begin the discussion like this. I I believe that if North Carolina, North Carolina may be in anyway, it's French. I believe if they beat Virginia and complete a a double whammy of beating them twice late in the year, this is going to put North Carolina in the tournament at large. I believe that. Thoughts on this game here. Uh, Virginia has taken a couple of losses late in the year, including to Boston College, a bad loss. Any thought, Kyle Hunter, on this neutral floor matchup tonight? So my theory on Virginia is Virginia kind of played their best basketball at the beginning of the season, ending the season not really playing very well. In fact, Haslametrics has a momentum uh, number, and they're 353rd out of 363 teams. So they're not coming into this game playing very well. Um, North Carolina, they're a bit of a tough handicap. I mean, let's be honest. It it Mm -hmm. depends on Caleb Love. Is he making his shots? And quite a few times this year, he really hasn't been making his shots. I still think North Carolina is the side that I would bet in this game because North Carolina has a lot to play for in a game like this. To be fair, like TJ said, they might be in anyways. Um, People might think I'm a North Carolina fan for wearing the hat. I'm not necessarily a North Carolina fan. Um, I do like Davis. I think he's a a good coach, an easy coach to root for. Mm -hmm. Um, And let's just say this. Let's let's be honest. If North Carolina is kind of on the bubble versus some other teams, they're probably going to get in because they're a really good draw. Um, and that's not me hating on North Carolina at all. It's just, you know, being honest about the situation. So I, I think North Carolina in this game can win the battle on the boards. Uh, I think they come into this game playing better than has Virginia. And they have so much to play for here. If Virginia loses, they're still in the tournament, no problem. Right. Uh, North Carolina, you know, they may wonder, be on the bubble here. I, I like taking North Carolina in this one if I'm taking a side. As far as the total, I have to touch on this one too, TJ. Yeah, sure, go ahead. A battle in the pace. You know, North Carolina wants to run. Uh, Virginia wants to stall, obviously. I, I like these pace war games. They're fun because you see, you know, who wins out when it comes to pace. The last game they played against each other, um, the pace was pretty slow, I believe. Well, it was 67 possessions, which is not terribly fast. But for Virginia, that's a rapid fire. That's really fast. So North Carolina was able to uh, get them moving a decent amount in the first game. Uh, Virginia won 65, 58, 63 possessions in that game. So it does matter who's controlling the pace here. Um, I don't. It's a tough total to bet. It's awfully low. I would probably lean to the over, but just saying I lean to the over on a Virginia game makes me feel super Queasy. uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, really. really I hear you. I hear you on that. Um, again, a couple of things here that are of note. If North Carolina were to lose this game and not make the NCAA tournament, it would be the first time that the AP preseason number one doesn't make the field since 1975, if that happens. However, to your point, brand names matter. Just like two years ago, it's a subjective process. If these teams are close, it's a it's a committee of people that want to vote. It's a billion dollar TV product. Two years ago, they put Michigan State and UCLA in the first four, and UCLA emerged out of the first four. The whole tournament was being played basically in Greater Indianapolis, but they took the brand names two years ago and had them playing each other, Michigan State and UCLA. Kids, they're going to take a North Carolina or a Michigan if it's close and they can justify putting them in. This will put, I believe, North Carolina squarely in if they can win this Virginia game tonight. So let's see what happens. And here again, North Carolina played a game and won it easily with Boston College. Virginia's been sitting and waiting. Let's see what happens in Greensboro. It'll be a Carolina crowd. They will have eight, ten thousand 10,000 or more in the arena for anything they do. 